you fancy yourself some free crops and soul mask well you can absolutely steal yourself some free crops in a legit and good way so let's head into this i'll show you some of my favorite crop stealing locations because this can really help you get a really good start in the game when it comes to upgrading armor and well starting your cooking journey because they're going to give you many many buffs food is very important in soul mask and types of food is also very important which i'll be doing another video on however free crops we're going to start right here the flint tribe barbarian barrack this is a little bit up from spawn this is a spawn area this is the actual place we're gone to and we're by this gated area right here now the beauty of this spot is here we go free cotton we can collect you see here i am stealing all of their cotton it's going to be really good they can also grow other things such as corn which you're going to need for taming things like llamas and alpacas and making food and then we can also go on to the other side of their base and find some more crops now the crops here may vary they may be different things they could be chilies they could be cotton they could be corn they could be pumpkins they could be pretty much anything or potatoes here's potatoes right here so you can pretty much pick up all of it as long as it's grown and steal it oh we have some chilies in the back here very nice but yeah you can grab all of these crops and bring them home it is a great time that is free crop spot number one let's go into free crop spot number two now we're at our second spot this place is a little bit more dangerous but it resembles a heart on the map and this is just south of the hill portal there you go there's a map reference right there but basically this camp's really interesting i'm not gonna lie i really like it the aesthetics is amazing i wish i could build a camp like this myself however limited space you can see it's full of people lots of angry people you have to be careful of the place we want to go down to is the middle of the water down there in some cases you could actually just jump in there i can show you what that's like it does get a little spicy though but i can show you a way just to be naughty and steal their crops as well which is kind of funny so i'm just gonna run into this camp we're gonna be doing very silly things this is something you usually probably would not want to do at all gonna jump over the barrier you can see the water down there i'm gonna go straight for it off we go there you go straight in the water happy days <laughs> we're down by the crops now there's a boss up there be careful there's gonna be many angry people as well but all i'm gonna do here is uh i'm pretty much just gonna rob them dry so right now they have aloe here and they also have uh, i think this is tobacco plant yes again this can vary what they have uh you can just run around here and steal their stuff it's kind of funny you have to be careful though and just speed up when they're uh, you know coming at you to make sure they don't actually get you but yeah you, you can also defeat the people as well but i'm just quickly showing you this crop spot <laughs> and then if you want them to go away you just go in the water isn't it it's very nice like that they might follow you they can't fully follow you just be careful of the uh, piranhas which you can deal with or you can just go on the shoreline and you'll be absolutely fine the only problem is getting back up which you'll just have to run up that way but yeah i don't really recommend jumping into it i just wanted to show you it in general for the for the funnies yep yeah, this is the location for some free crops really cool place to visit highly recommend grab yourself some nice crops here we go we got another location for crops this one being even more awesome it's an entire barracks like castle thing and this is at the top of the map before the snow biome near the wetland portal is at the flint tribe barbarian fortress and this place is mega cool not only is it really good for getting npcs and uh, you know yoinking them for yourselves which for some reason they don't seem to be here right now i think someone must be clearing the camp currently or something like that uh yeah the see oh yeah i think someone might be but either way for crops in here you come from this main entrance way let me get rid of this guy real quick because these guys are pretty mean as you can see they are a high level they are level 50s okay the sun's actually going down so i'm gonna do the silly thing again and just follow my lead but i would rather you kill the people not do what i'm doing because it's very silly but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go running in here actually i'm gonna i might stop that lady hang on a minute no i don't want you to do that absolutely not <laughs> that made life a lot harder for me the recharge of stamina we're gonna go straight down here and then we're gonna go down here i'm gonna make this run real quick 
and in this area you can already see massive farm you can see things like papaya trees really good and then over this side as well there is more there's more crops you get quinoa cocoa all sorts this is a great place for free crops you just have to beat up the people and then if we go further down uh, trying to ignore all the angry people which again don't recommend doing this at all there is an even bigger field down here where you can steal crops and stuff you could try this technique of just running in and uh, using the plant hit boxes to not get hit but yeah, it is very dicey doing it, so I do not recommend it. Because depending on what gear you're in, depends how hard these guys hit. And they can hit really hard or throw spears at you. But this is the way to get free crops in this camp. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, I think, get out of town real quick because these people are getting real mad at me. This town is really good for loot, though. Highly recommend it. Uh, really good stuff. But the crops here are insane. And you can get a lot of really high-level crops. So... Highly recommend it. Make sure you clear it out properly. Don't do what I'm doing right here. Now to head over to our last crop spot, which honestly is super dangerous. It's right over here, just below the desert, which for you guys, the jungle's here. And uh, yeah, it's up here. So this place is extremely dangerous because these guys are high level again and it's really dicey. So I'm going to give you a quick run through of uh, just getting to the crops so I can show you where they are. But ideally... The crops are right here, okay? What we're going to do with this camp is actually kind of funny. There is a way to infiltrate via the water. You just have to be careful of the fishes because the fishes are... Well, they're going to eat you. Like, you can see this one wants to eat me right now. But the funny thing with Solbask is uh, you can pretty much defeat things underwater. Uh, mostly. As long as you've got the right tools. It can be a little hard sometimes. You might need to back up a little bit to get them or go under the water. There we go, got it. So, with this technique, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go with the water, I'm going to heal up at the water as well, because, well, you could do that, funny enough. <laughs> like I'm doing right now, we've got another fish, excuse me. I'm going to see if I can avoid it, but you can see all these angry people, right? I'm going to swim right past them, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go up this way, because we can pretty much get straight into the place we need to go getting chased by fish at the moment they're trying to eat me carry on we're probably gonna rest up here to get the fish off me a little bit uh, they do get pretty aggressive as you can see uh, but off they go <laughs> okay so this time i'm gonna go straight in because why not i'm just gonna do the silly thing of running around which is kind of fun honestly to do uh, just to show you guys but here we go look at this amazing isn't it Look at all of these crops. Now, yeah, you might get something like this coming after you. But honestly, sometimes I just go in here and I collect as much as I can like this, facing it. I go around the trees. It kind of stops them hitting me as much. And I go in circles and I just collect as much as I can while I'm here getting attacked by like an angry dog. It's good if you usually go around in a circle. If you stare at them, it helps a lot as well. If you turn the, your back to them, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a good recipe. So... Make sure you keep staring at them if you can. I'm going to go over here, collect some papaya. Lovely. <laughs> the only problem is if you get caught, if you get caught, that's the issue, right? <laughs> but yeah, you can see I've got all these crops. I could just continue all day if I really wanted to. Grab it as much as I can. Cashews really valuable, so grab some cashews. is definitely a great thing to get your hands on. But yeah, that's another crop space you could go into, and you can pretty much just swim straight into it. It's in a really difficult camp, but it's definitely worth giving it a go. And you can bum rush it. So that is the fun part of this one, uh, going to get stuff from here. The only problem is getting your way over here, because getting over here could be, uh, well, pretty vicious in itself. A lot of angry animals in uh, this location up in this corner of the map. So you want to make sure you have a uh, good equipment to be able to deal with that. Either way, another map reference right here. Your entrance is there, and then you go straight in to get the crops. So hopefully that helps, and I hope you enjoyed my crop guide on how to get free crops in the game. Just steal them from all the other tribe members. You know what it's like. But either way, thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!